the uh, crossing uh, of the Red Sea. Uh, the first time I saw this pillar, I think, was in 82. And uh, my father, my brother, uh, we were going diving where we thought was uh, where uh, the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea. When I first saw this, it was laying half in the water and half out on the on the beach down there. And I haven't seen it since I stood it up. But um, we. Uh, well, so you, you said it was, uh, you know, what was in the water? What was not in the water? There was. Uh, this part, this part was on the beach, but there was part of it that was laying in the water, and we saw it. We didn't know, we didn't know what it was for sure, but uh, my dad later on saw saw one on the other side of the water, and that's what made us believe that uh, that was where uh, Solomon uh, thought that Moses and the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, and I think he marked it yeah. with this pillar. And there was one right on the other side of where we think they crossed, and that's one of the, that's one of the reasons we think this that was the spot where they crossed. And but like I say, this was in the water before, and they uh, uh, they stood it up over here. So I believe the Israelis think that this was an important. Um, because the Israeli soldiers put it up here. Israeli soldiers put it up here after we found it. And so I think they think that it's an important find. What year and was this? Remember? I, I think this was uh, 1982, 81 or 82. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, right behind me is. Uh, Wadi Retir, if I pronounce that correctly, but uh, I believe it was 81 or 82, the same time we found the pillar. Uh, we were dry, we had a rent a car, and uh, coming down to Nueva, uh, we saw uh, there's three places like this that go up in the mountains, and in the rent a car, we couldn't tell how far they went up there, so. Uh, we drove up a couple and got stuck, and uh, we didn't really know how to uh, how we could tell how far the wadis went up, and we wanted to know if you could get all the way if they went all the way through the mountains, and we couldn't tell just by in our rent a car, and we couldn't see far enough. So my uh, father had the idea to uh, rent an airplane, so we went back to um, Elot and rented a small airplane and we flew flew down here over the wadis and we took a lot of pictures and uh, we found out that the wadi uh, retir went all the way through so uh, we figured that that's a good spot where they could have the israelites could have come from because it went all the way through there, and that was the only place that they could get through. And uh, so, anyhow, we hired the uh, the airplane. Which uh, a funny thing, the pilot's name was Moses. So he uh, he flew us around, and we were able to see all the way up this wadi. We got a lot of pictures of it, and that's what convinced us that this was probably where the children of Israel came out. And then they headed up uh, towards uh, up the beach that way. That's why I think that it was right, right yeah, close right to here. Have you been swimming here? Yeah, I have. Oh, you did? You go snorkeling? Yeah. Where yeah. did you find the pillar exactly? I think the pillar was, uh, I say it was just a little past that tree, maybe. Just right in there, as far as I remember, is where we first saw the pillar that we showed you earlier that they stood up. 
it was laying, I think it was partly in the water and part out when we first came here. We found that and, uh, um, then you found the real stuff. and we went, we went scuba diving right out here and uh, me and my brother and father, we took uh, scuba lessons at the house and we came here and went diving our first time. And we, uh, just three of us went out, we, we split up a little bit. We, uh, we were on top of the water. The water is real clear. You can see real good when we were here diving. So we swam out and we're looking. We were split up and we're looking down. And uh, we saw something that looked like the, it was covered in coral, but the shape was the shape of a, a chariot, uh, the box. There was no wheels on it. We just saw the box itself. And then we went out just a little bit further and my brother spotted it first. He uh, he saw the wheel on the bottom, and it was quite deep. I don't know. It was uh, we were amateur scuba divers, so we were lucky that nothing happened to us. But uh, it's quite deep. It was yeah. I think we went down to 180 feet one time because we saw something down there, and uh, my brother saw the wheel first, and uh, I was kind of watching him, and he uh, he waved me over and showed showed me what looked like a wheel and my brother went down and touched it first it was a gold gold wheel uh, when we looked at it, it looked like it was a solid solid gold wheel but my brother went down and ronnie went down and touched it first and we pushed on the gold and it uh, felt hollow it was like mushy it's like i think uh, i think the uh wood wheels were covered in gold and the wood uh in uh, the wood part, uh, I guess, just uh, eroded and just the metal frame was there. And our father was wanting us to see if we could get it up, but we uh, we tried a little bit and we knew that it would come apart, so we couldn't do anything with it. We left it there and we tried to mark a spot so we could come back and uh, get the wheel out later. The next time we came out diving, uh, we couldn't find it. Uh, and uh, the, sand the sand was shifting yeah. and there was uh, plants on the bottom at a certain time of year and uh, but we did we have the pictures uh, at the house we're gonna get those together and uh, and that proved to us that this was the site and uh, we think God led us here it wasn't anything that we did you know dad studied in that but God really helped him uh, find the spot and we give all the credit to the Lord, and uh, but we are convinced this is a place, and uh, it's right here. Uh, if you go up that way, uh, maybe a mile, and well, probably two miles, maybe that way, two or three. There's coral that goes all the way off, and it's just a drop off. And here you go out, and it's smooth, smooth sand all across the bottom, and nowhere else. And we believe the Bible's true that it was a miracle that happened. We believe the the sea was parted here and they walked across. And there's another wadi on the other side. And uh, we think that's the route they took to Mount Sinai. Mm. The place.